Welcome back to Millionaire Mindset, where we give you ways and advice to achieve financial freedom. In this video, we'll talk about 15 things that rich people do. Have you done one of these things before? Let us know in the comment section and maybe after doing this, you'll start getting rich. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified when we publish new videos. And be sure to watch the entire video to avoid missing any important details. Send us your questions and suggestions in the comment section because we'd love to hear from you. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're striving for financial success and freedom, but are we really living like it? We've assembled a list of things that the poor do every day, ensuring mediocrity. Take them with a grain of salt, but realize these are here to make you think about your current situation and what you could do to make a better version of yourself. In order to understand the mindset of millionaires, we talked to some of our friends and mentors in the hopes that they would be able to shed some light on why people are either born into wealth or cursed to poverty. As with any rule, there are always exceptions to this, but if you follow these habits and activities, you might be able to get yourself a little closer to that dream of yours. Here are 15 things poor people do that rich don't. Number 1. Poor people watch a lot of TV. I will explain this with a story. Suppose you have time to watch reality TV, then you're probably poor. If you're watching TV series that air every week, if you have a favorite news channel, then you're most likely watching too much television. This fact may be the reason why your life is how it is. Mindless celebrity gossip and buzz do not bring you any value. It only serves celebrities. The rich wish to be on TV instead of watching it. You might say, but I'm watching The Big Bang Theory, which is a really funny show and it helps me to disconnect. That's exactly the issue. You disconnect from your problems instead of dealing with them and getting them out of the way. There may be rare occasions where in the words of John Lennon applies, that time you're wasting isn't wasted time. But really, think about it. Should sitting inside watching a screen be something you really enjoy doing? Before I move on to the second reason that poor people watch television, I want to clear out something I said before. When I spoke about watching TV for news, I didn't mean to say that the only good reason to watch television is to be aware of what's happening in the world, just being informed. The main problem with this is that TV news stations are always biased in order to push their own agenda. Instead of staying at home in front of a TV, use your computer or cell phone to get a quick look at what's happening today and then go do your own thing. Moving on to number 2. Poor people eat fast food. For many people, health is an abstract idea. They're so busy trying to stay alive that they barely have time to think about what's in their food or how it will affect their bodies. Without nutritional education, these folks blot out their brains with nutrient-free foods. The upshot? They're too unhealthy to perform at anywhere near optimal levels. If you don't live healthily, aspects of your life are directly affected. You'll suffer physically, mentally, professionally, and even romantically. It's a domino effect. Next on the list at number 3, Poor people buy clothes or products that are on sale. The only thing you should buy on sale is stocks. If you're like most people, your life can be boiled down to one word. Budget. But if you're like the rich, that word takes on a whole new meaning. While you're busy trying to squeeze your toothpaste too flat so it will last another week, the rich are focused on increasing their incomes. Just think about it. What do you see when you walk past a big sale? Clothes. Those are the same clothes that end up in the clearance section because people who could afford to pay full price didn't want them. So what's the point of buying something cheap? You're going to look exactly like someone who can't afford to pay full price. At number 4, poor people wake up later than rich people do in their early years. The reality is that poor people are often lazier than the rich in the early days. It's a fact that some of you may find hard to swallow, but it's true. Somebody who used their youth to grow themselves is a lot less likely to remain poor later on in life. 
In fact, at some point you may find yourself so far behind from what the world needs from you that you'll end up miserable. The paradox is that people who don't focus on growth at an early age end up working a lot harder, with little success rate later in life just to stay afloat. Joining in our list is number 5. Poor people are really into sports. Unless you're a professional athlete or the owner of a sports team, there's no reason for you to watch sports. Think of watching sports like this. You're sitting down and paying money to watch men chase a ball around a field. There's no real reason why you're doing this. It's basically an escape from your problems. You get to sit back and do nothing. And if that sounds appealing, you're a spectator in life, not someone who plays or owns the team. If you want to be an owner in life, stop putting yourself in situations where you have no impact on the outcome of the game and are just watching men chase after a ball. Surprising fact at number 6. Poor people don't shower as often as rich people do. Although we initially believed that this fact was false, it turned out to be true. Amazingly, this fact explains a lot about success. Most modern jobs involve service industries in which human contact is a must in order for people to exchange values effectively. Unhygienic people tend to be less successful than their counterparts because other people don't trust them and avoid spending time with them. If people don't like you and don't want to be around you, how will you attract good partners? Therefore, the first step to success should be an early morning shower. Coming in at number 7. Poor people blame others for their misfortune. I have found that most people are unwilling to change themselves. They will point to outside factors for their shortcomings. I'm too old. I'm too young. I don't have enough time. I don't know where to begin. The only thing that they never say is, it's my fault. 99% of change in life is in you. You are in charge of your relationships. You are in charge of your health and you want these to change. You can do something about it. Life is not what happens to us, it's how we react to what happens to us. When something bad happens, the poor choose to victimize themselves while the rich look into it and study it. They seek to find out what happened, why it happened, and how they can protect themselves from it in the future. While one assumes the position of the vulnerable victim, the other uses it as a growing opportunity. Moving on at number 8. Poor people have no money saved. When it comes to finances, the poor are always looking forward to what's next. The rich, on the other hand, take a more prudent approach by saving for a rainy day. Let's say something bad happens. You lose your job and you need money to live off until you find another one. But since you don't have a savings account, you're forced to liquidate an asset such as your car or house or take out a loan. Meanwhile, if you were rich and something bad happened, you would still be in the same position minus your savings. So now, let's look at the exact opposite. If an opportunity arose that allowed you to expand your life, would you take advantage of it? If you were poor, you wouldn't be able to afford to take full advantage of this opportunity because of your lack of savings. That's why the rich are growing richer, while the poor are getting poorer. Next on our list at number 9, poor people use credit cards or take out loans for useless things. One of the main differences between the rich and the poor is how they make use of credit. A simple rule. If you take out a loan to buy something that doesn't earn more money than the loan, don't take it, except when that something is an investment. Want to take out a loan for a large TV? Don't. Want a loan to buy the new Supreme Gear? Don't. Want to use credit cards to get the new iPhone? Don't, unless you're going to make money of it later. Somehow, perhaps by turning the gear into cash or through a commission from app sales that you created on your phone. Number 10. Poor people tend to have more kids and earlier in life. The truth is that children are extremely costly. We all know how much pleasure it is to make them or at least practice making them. But people become stuck at this point and refuse to believe it. To put things in perspective, if you live in one of the more industrialized countries, raising a child will cost you around $250,000. 
poor people have on average more children and at a younger age than their wealthy counterparts due to a lack of education, poor environment, and other factors, whereas the wealthy wait a few years until their standards of living improve in order to ensure the right environment and prime conditions for their children to flourish. The poor simply go ahead with it. After the kid is born, the struggle to remain afloat and progress begins. Barely surviving is already hard. Number 11. Poor people do not do regular checkups with their doctors. Poor individuals do not get themselves checked on a regular basis. Let's imagine you develop a tough disease, such as cancer. If you get regular checkups, you'll be able to detect it in its early stages, allowing you to receive treatment at a reduced cost. If, on the other hand, you fail to do so, you may discover it only when it is too late, costing you and your entire family a fortune. And even if you have a lot of money, you may still lose your life. Number 12. Poor people spend money before they get it. Spending money before you have it is one of the life's greatest pitfalls. If you don't have money for something you're prepared to give up without harming your life, you can't afford it. Return to work and get it later. Number 13. Poor people surround themselves with other poor people. One of the ways people ensure that they remain poor is through associating with or hanging out with other poor people who share their core views. You need people around you who will inspire and motivate you. Individuals who are accomplishing fantastic things and whose success will only motivate you to go beyond your current situation. If you're still hanging out with the same people you were when you were younger, you should double check. Don't be afraid to walk away from a crowd and move on to something better. If you don't, your potential will most likely be crushed by those who want to make themselves feel better about their miserable lives by ensuring you suffer the same fate. Number 14. Poor people never follow through on their ideas or potential. You have no control over who your parents are, where you're born, or how society regards you. The only thing you do have control over is how many hours you devote to your ambition. Every individual on the planet has just 24 hours in a day, but some people do far more than others. If you dedicate yourself to learning and implementing more about what you're passionate about, it'll only be a matter of time before you achieve success. You've probably heard that 9 out of 10 businesses fail in their first 3 years. But how many businesses fail because they never got started? Each and every one of them. Work on your idea, put it out there, collect feedback, refine it, then launch it again and again. Number 15. Poor people believe that others should help them reach the top. Nobody owes you anything in this world, and believe it or not, you're on your own. What happens in your life is entirely under your control. The thing is, everyone believes that they will be successful when they are young, but reality sets in, and this world we live in rewards only the best. Those who never give up, those who keep on learning, adapting, and understanding that no one will solve their problems for them unless they face them head on. And along the way, you may meet people who feel the same way and share parts of the journey with you. Otherwise, you'll just be a part of the majority that fail. If you know someone who does any of these 15 things, please show them this video to enlighten them. I am curious to know what things you believe poor people do that rich don't. What would you add to this list? Please let us know in the comment section. That's all for now. Join us again next time here in Millionaire Mindset for another round of tips in achieving your financial freedom. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.